Hello, my name is Mike. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. And in 2016, I voted for Donald Trump. And that hurts me to say that today. Uh, as I sit here, COVID-19 rages on. 170,000 Americans are dead. The economy is in the toilet. Millions are out of work. Um, and that's the main reason why I'll be voting for Joe Biden in November. Uh, Donald Trump has completely failed in his response to the coronavirus from the start, calling it a hoax, saying it would disappear, encouraging Americans to inject disinfectant into their bodies. You know, all that messaging, the words of a president matter, and I can't help but think how many thousands of Americans are dead today and how many lives have been uprooted because of Donald Trump's dangerous incompetence and ineptitude. Uh, as I sit here, millions of Americans are waiting on their medicine to arrive through the U.S. Postal Service. Uh, a lot of medicine is being delayed. Mail is slowing down. And to think that that's a deliberate strategy by Donald Trump and the Postmaster General to deliberately interfere with the Postal Service in an effort to disenfranchise voters, to discourage people from voting, and to downright rig the election in 2020 is the behavior of dictators and despots, not U.S. presidents. And I don't care what you thought of Donald Trump in 2016. You know, to sit here today and see the damage that he's doing, I can't go on with a clear conscience, you know, I couldn't vote for Donald Trump again. Uh, you know, to think about what another four years of Donald Trump would be like almost doesn't bear thinking of. I know that America would be almost unrecognizable. Uh, just to see what he's done in this four years, the institutions are at the brink. Uh, there's a lot of folks who are nervous, who are scared, and, you know, have some low-grade depression going on. Trump trauma. Um, and I'm not immune to it either. Um, and all I can say to the people out there who, who are feeling that is to not dwell on the despair, to try to channel your anger and your frustration and to make sure that Donald Trump's one-term president. I know that I'm going to do everything I can to get my friends and family members to turn out to vote for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Because America as we know it, democracy as we know it, depends on it. This is the most, the highest stakes election ever. Um, so I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris uh, win the presidency on November 3rd. To end this national nightmare and to restore America, you know, to restore its credibility. Um, and I know that Kamala and Joe can do immense good uh, and get this country working for the American people again.